Dadalus was a great Athenian architect and inventor, renowned throughout Greece. But after committing a dreadful crime, he was forced to flee Athens. To escape from the grip of justice, he became a refugee on the island of Crete, the land of the mighty King Minos. Daedalus offered his services to the king, who was pleased to have such a skilled individual in his court. Daedalus lived many years in Crete working for the king. The dazzling palace of Knossos was one of his several endeavors. During his stay at the court of Minos, Daedalus had a romantic affair with an Egyptian slave. Together they had a son, who would become known as Icarus. Years later, the architect was also responsible for conceiving and building the well-known labyrinth of Minos, where he imprisoned the Minotaur, a half-man, half-bull creature. However, all these efforts did not prevent him and his son Icarus from being imprisoned in the labyrinth of King Minos, accused of conspiring against the king by helping the hero Theseus to defeat the Minotaur. Daedalus knew that an escape from the labyrinth was unlikely. Even if he managed to, the island of Crete was patrolled by land and sea by the army of Minos. After days imprisoned in the tower, which had been his base during the labyrinth's construction, the ingenious inventor had an unusual idea. He asked his son to collect pieces of wood while he sketched his new project. Daedalus built wooden structures that resembled bird wings. He collected a good number of feathers from the seabirds which flew over the labyrinth. Then, he finished his invention by gluing them with beeswax. He had built two pairs of massive wings, one for him and one for his son. Daedalus put on his wings and noticed that his invention worked greatly. Icarus was helped by his father to put on his wings, and from him he received some advice. Son, don't ever fly too low near the sea, so that humidity doesn't clog the fragile gears, nor fly too high to prevent the sun from melting the beeswax. Stay close to me at all times. Daedalus and Icarus climbed to the top of the tower, then they bravely took off. At first, they somehow struggled against the wind, but they quickly managed to master the flight motions and left the island of Crete. The view from the sky was simply stunning. Both were in awe. Daedalus noticed that Icarus was already flying away from him at a much higher height. Worried, he shouted at his son, but the youngster couldn't hear him. Icarus was marveled and flew with his eyes closed, piercing through the clouds. He was completely intoxicated by the feeling of freedom. The young man was getting closer and closer to the sun. Suddenly, he noticed that the sun's heat was starting to melt the wax that coupled the feathers to the wing structure. The feathers began to fall and Icarus lost control of his flight the wings started to disintegrate. The fall of Icarus was unavoidable. He fell from the sky while his helpless father watched his son's fatal fall. Icarus crashed violently into the ocean. Daedalus flew in search of his son, but he could not find him. After a strenuous search, Icarus's father found his son's body lying dead on a beach. Daedalus lamented that his invention had caused the death of his beloved son.